Hello, this is Bern, and on today's episode, I will be sharing with you five deceivingly appealing men you need to avoid. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to BernMendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart centered, and successful women how you can create the relationship you want, attract the kind of man you're interested in as a result of stepping into the most alive and most feminine version of you without the need to play gimmicks or manipulate in any way. Now, when you think about types of men to avoid, there are, of course, the obvious one, a narcissist. And obviously, these are types of men you want to avoid. What I chose to do today is talk to you about guys who are not necessarily the loudest or the most obvious you should avoid, but if you don't pay close attention, can create a significant amount of pain and heartbreak and soap opera-like experiences for you. Think about it this way. If you see a bottle of perfume, and it's a beautiful, expensive, let's say, $1,000 bottle of perfume, and inside of it, you have poison, it's going to be appealing, but the effect, the impact in you is the same. <laughs> you die, <laughs> right? And we're talking about emotional death here, or we're talking about at least emotional wounding, which is not fun. So sometimes these guys, are attractive physically or have uh, developed a skill of connecting with women or maybe are have some level of confidence and some allure that makes you not look at the other side of the coin which i'll be describing to you today so the first type is emotionally avoidant now you might be thinking to yourself well who on earth would go for an emotionally avoidant guy many women and perhaps you've gone for this already it's not because you're not smart enough it's because sometimes these guys who are emotionally avoidant show up with some qualities like discipline or focus or they have the capacity to concentrate on a purposeful endeavor so when you look at those facts but you start making up excuses right for him not calling you for him not being interested for him not pursuing you for him not reaching out and holding your hand for him not wanting to have a difficult conversation because it's beyond his capacity, some of you look at guys who are emotionally avoidant and they get compelled by their allure. And that their allure could be their physical body, it could be the way they show up, it could be their level of confidence. And it could even be some of the qualities they claim themselves. So he's not he's emotionally avoidant uh, because he's so focused on his work, because he's so disciplined, and it's not that. Anyone has five minutes to connect and talk to you if they're interested in. So com excuses are part of the reason why we push under the rug those qualities that become predominantly painful in a relationship. Now, the next one is a guy who's overconfident. Well, why would overconfident, somebody who's overconfident be dangerous for you? Because a guy who's overconfident is not measuring. He's going for more than he can go. He's chewing in more than he can bite. And the result of that sometimes is disastrous when he thinks he's more intelligent than he is, or when he thinks he knows you better than he does. You might be telling to yourself, you know why he's such a God decision guy, he's strong, he's confident, but confident and overconfident are not the same thing. And overconfident people typically misjudge how great they are, and because they misjudge how great they are in certain areas of life, they create a lot of pain for others around them. Think about if you haven't met someone like that. The third one would be an undeveloped man. Well, why would an undeveloped man be appealing to someone? Well, because you're not looking at the undeveloped side of him. You're looking at a guy who's spontaneous. He's chill, he's relaxed, he goes with the flow. So those are qualities that in and of themselves, you might find, well, that's kind of cool. But when he's so relaxed that he's not doing anything to make his life better, when his spontaneity prevents him from planning and creating the kind of foundation that can get your relationship to the next level, which I, imagine for any of you is not just dating you want to go from dating to uh, exclusivity and from exclusivity to maybe living together and from that to marrying each other and from that to having a family and from that I mean you, you get growing and growing or incorporating him to your family whatever it is there's an ascension and an ascension cannot take place when the guy is undeveloped he hasn't taken the time to figure out himself he likes hunger he likes curiosity he lacks uh, just that extra oomph that will get him over the edge, which is necessary in life. And some of you get compelled by his chillness, he's relaxed, he's so fun, he's just friendly, to, friendly and fun to be with. So none of these guys are bad guys, they're just not good for you. <laughs> the next one is self-absorbed. 
or a selfish man. Notice I'm not going all the way to a narcissist because that's more obvious sometimes, but self-absorbed would be someone that maybe you see as super confident or maybe someone who's a go-getter, maybe someone who's an alpha, which I have very mixed emotions about because an alpha without heart is completely worthless to you and to many others around him. So it's part of what's wrong with the world, right? <laughs> Guys who are super confident and make things happen without concern to the consequences and without connecting to their hearts to see what the effect of their actions has on the world, the planet, and other human beings, including women. So a self-absorbed guy might be someone that you feel he's a go-getter, he's super confident, he's an achiever, he's a type A personality. Again, nothing wrong with those things if they connect to a heart, but when a guy does those things in a self-absorbed, selfish way, when his primary mode of being in a relationship, his primary reason is not to offer love, but to get love, these are the types of guy that will suck the life out of you. You will do everything that, uh, or many things that he's wanting you to do, and you will get back one-tenth if that in the relationship. And what you get in return is you get to feel confident because he, he, he seems so uh, charismatic with those around him. Uh, the next one, the last one I'll share with you today, and by far the most dangerous of all of them, for the, I'll, I'll share why, is a confused man. Why is a confused man so dangerous? A confused man is so dangerous because he's the kind of guy who'd have a good heart, good intentions, can look at you in, in the eyes and, and, and transmit powerful emotions, can be a good listener. But when push comes to shove, he has no clarity regarding what he expects out of the relationship. And as a result of that, cannot make the step of commitment. So he, this is the type of guy that if you're with, Three years into it, he could still be like, you don't even know what's missing uh, for him to take the next steps, but he's not taking the next steps. And he gives you something in return. He gives you attention, he gives you validation, he gives you a uh, level of emotional connection that you might be needing, but at the expense of your future, at the expense of maybe you not having a family, at the expense of not being able to count with them when times are tough, because he's confused. He doesn't know what he's going for. So why would woman go for a type of guy like this? Well. If you have a type of personality that is more kind and uh, generous in nature, you might take him on as a project. You might be telling to yourself, well, I can't leave him now, he's going through something so rough. Or I can't leave him right now, he's just, he's going through a tough time, uh, he, he, he just, he just, he needs more time to figure things out. When in reality, all he needs is uh, testicular fortitude and decision-making muscles to make things happen. So now, I'm not saying that these are the only qualities that are important to avoid in men, as I shared earlier. This is important in the context of more nuanced qualities that you need to avoid. And some guys have more than one of these. But what I'm saying to you is that predominantly the guy that you're connecting with is emotionally avoidant or overconfident at the point where he's making stupid mistakes that are costing him and you, or underdeveloped, undeveloped with a lack of hunger, which you see him as cute and funny, but not cute and funny 30 years later where he, he's not doing anything with his life. Uh, Self-absorbed, which you might seem as confident, but he's really a selfish prick sometimes. Or confused, as in he doesn't know what he needs in order to move forward, and you're enabling his indecision by staying with him. <laughs> if you find this is helpful, useful, and insightful, I'm going to ask you to do one thing. On the first link on the description of this video, click on that link and you'll be taken to a page where you can sign up for a free class that goes more in depth into all these concepts and shows you how you can create the relationship you want with a lot less pain than you've been going through <laughs> recently. If you like this video, please click like or thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you can continue to get new videos. And last call that I'll share with you right now is if you are under any of these categories, you're connecting with guys who have these qualities and you can't seem to move forward and you don't want videos, you want hand-holding help, accountability, then I might be able to help you. There's a second link in the description of this video that will allow you to apply to work together and for a fit. I, I'll be looking forward to holding your hand as you get to the exact relationship you're looking for. Thank you so much for connecting with me. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.